today in this uh, event i am going to present about the india's first open source success story in e-commerce space bagesto here i am going to explain basically a case study of bagesto on how we started bagesto uh, what are the challenges that we faced how did we overcome and how bagesto went on to become the first success story from india so my name is saurav patak i work as a chief evangelist for bagesto and one of the co-founders of bagesto I work in an organization Webcool, which is the payment company of Bagesto. So <clears throat> previously, Bagesto, I have been part of the many wonderful projects from Webcool, like uh, UV Desk, Help Desk, Booking Commerce, Akinio, and implementing GDPR policies in the organization. So before beginning with the talk, I would like to thank the Open Source India for organizing this virtual event and getting all the prestigious talks. So, Mr. Richard Stallman, one of the free software activists, he tells that open source is something, a kind of like a method of development, but free software is a social movement that we all should join on. Before beginning with the story of Bagesto, I would like to draw your attention regarding some of the open source uh, ecosystem facts about India. Now in India, the thing is that we, we don't have problems regarding the skills. Indians are skillsful and we know that. But I, however, I have found out that there is some problem in the mindset of the people regarding open source. The very first thing is the need of validation or proof of concept. So Indians have a like a uh, kind of a, like a, a, like a mentality that uh, if something uh, product is there until and unless it has been proven or used by a group of community, they feel uh, some hesitant regarding to use that product. And that is basically about the open source because you know like when a open source project start uh it's, it's basically not kind of a like a where you get a funding or where you earn money rather it starts with a small group of people that other people join but it's also like the open source projects is also about the community It's the community that takes forward the open source not the two or three people who started the open source project so until and unless we get a proof of concept regarding a product we really try to try to find and use that product next is about your caviar so you know like uh, in open source everything is for free like you give it for free to a community now, the people uh, who work on that project they know that uh, they might not be going to earn something or like or not a like very good amount so the people who came out from colleges they rather do not want to jeopardize their career working on a project that gives them nothing because you are actually giving back to your community Third is the investor funded startup ecosystem. If you see the current ecosystem of the startups in India, you will find so many startups getting funded by the investors. They are being covered on various uh, like uh, journals, portals, on like TV, everything. But open source is something which is still, I think, a, a, a very lagging behind in that. You rarely find any investor seeking some interest in open source because in open source, you actually can't have a like a mentality to actually give a balance sheet to an investor. Rather, it's more about doing a contribution and giving back to the community. The same is regarding the digital and print promotion media. The media also like uh, not so much like you can say uh, educated in some parts of the country that they can cover the open source projects who are originating from that part of the country. And that is a problem which uh, we will, we have found a lot while working in the northern area of India, where so where the journalists don't have the idea that, that how open source works and what are the technology behind that. Now, there's one more thing that in India I have found out from working for the last two years that uh, in Bagesto that for sure they are using Bagesto and they are using it for free, but. Uh, up to us, up to, after a certain time when they have started using Bagesto, they think that whatever they want in future, they can get everything for free. So people have come and asked me that, hey, uh, this is something which is not there in Bagesto. I want this thing. I want that thing. Okay. So I tell them, so uh, why don't you like uh, come and contribute on Bagesto? But they don't have a feeling that, uh, okay, because they have used Bagesto, but they don't want to contribute or even give a get up style or even like promote that software which they are using and building their own applications using Bagesto. So this is the mentality which has been 
uh, brewed over a period of time with the people who use open source project that uh, if they have got open source that project for free so whatever they want they they will get everything for free in 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 a, in a, in a like certain period of time then there's a big contradiction in the contribution if you look at the number of uh, users contributing to github you will find india at third position but if you will found that how many open source project origin from india a good one you will hardly find any now see there are many small css and js libraries originating from india but when we talk about a big enterprise solutions like erp cms or e-commerce you will find a very rare contribution coming from india now if we talk about the contribution from big mncs now if you look at the foreign uh, ecosystem then google uh, uber airbnb these are the companies which have uh, or tesla even they have like uh, made a lot of tech stack which they have used while building their application as open source so the community can use that and build their own but when we look at the Indian MNCs, then most of the MNCs are working in service area, not very much in the product area. Even if they are in product area, we hardly find any a tech stack which they have used in building the application they have made as open source so the open source community can make use of that. Now, from here, these are the, like uh, some of the like challenges which uh, I can see some of the things which I have observed and working for past two years with Bagasto with Indian open source ecosystem. So from here, I will start with the journey of Bagasto. Now, Bagasto is a community project which is uh, built by Webcool. Webcool is an organization uh, which was founded in 2010 by our three founders, Mr. Vipin Sahu, Mr. Vinay Yadav, and Mr. Prakash Shahu. Webcool, in the name only, it shows that we work for community. As if you like, uh, like separate the words, is web and cool. Where cool represents the community. Now, Webcool is one of the single biggest company from India that works on twenty-two major frameworks. Most of them, in fact, ninety percent of them are open source. Now, Magento, one of the most popular e-commerce frameworks in the market. We are one of the biggest solution partner of Magento from India, as we have won Innovations Lab Award in Magento for our innovative products like PWS Can and Go, our augmented reality based product sizing, then AI product navigator, and machine learning search. Webcool has also been a part of like a five time Deloitte Tech Fast 50 Award in India. Apart from that, even in the Asia rankings, we have been, we have won the award five times by Deloitte. For Magento, we have been like uh, chosen as the two times top selling extensions. We have also been awarded by Smart CEO for start of 50. Now, Webcool is the very first organization in India that has took, took a step to organize open source meetup almost every month. We are the very first company to organize the very first Symphony India meetup back in 2018, where Mr. Fabian Potentia, the father of PHP language, is our guest, was our guest speaker. Again, we also organized the very first Akinio India meetup. Akinio is one of the most popular open source product information management tool used across the world. And we have the privilege to have Mr. Fred J. Gomba, the CEO of Akinu, as one of our guest speakers. Next to Magento, there's OpenCard, and one of the most popular open source e-commerce framework. And Daniel Kerr, the founder of OpenCard, was our guest speaker. Now, these are the contributions which we have made till now to the open source community. So in Webcool, we, uh, we follow a certain mindset that uh, whenever we earn a good profit in a certain quarter, so instead of like uh, buying a Porsche or Mercedes or BMW, we try to create a new department around open source. Now, following those tactics, we have worked on many open source technologies, and these are the, some of the biggest contribution that Webcool has done from uh, to the open source community like Bajesto, Coolhue, MicronJS, VividJS, CFS Spin, UVDesk, Qlo. Now, UVDesk is a uh, open source helpdesk uh, system. Uh, initially, we started UVDesk to use it for our internal purpose to manage the tickets uh, that we get from a customer. 
In two years back only, we released the UVDS as open source, and the platform has got a very good response from the community who are looking to like use a help desk ticketing solution as open source. So you got a gist of it, where exactly Begisto is coming from. Begisto is not an idea that we got overnight. It is actually a crunch of our 10 years of experience over the period of time. So while working with all those e-commerce frameworks, we realized what are the pros and cons, what are the things that uh, today's developer and merchant need. So based upon all those factors, we created Begisto on Laravel. Now, Begisto is not just another e-commerce platform. It's basically a platform-driven commerce. If I explain to you, so if you want to like a uh, code in Magento or OpenCart, you actually need to learn Magento framework and then you can start working on Magento. So the learning curve there is quite large. But when we look at the current uh, educational system in India. So most of the people in colleges are taught PHP language or Java language, which are basically like MVC architecture based language. Even after the college went to go to certain coaching, they learned some frameworks of Java or PHP, like Spring or Hibernate for Java or Laravel or something for PHP. Now, the thing is that we made Bagasso totally on pure Laravel. So anyone who have any idea or experience coming out from college on Laravel, they can easily start working on Begisto and start creating their online e-commerce shop. So the learning curve for Begisto becomes very much small and anyone from experience from MVC based uh, platform like Laravel can easily start working on Begisto. Now, e-commerce is a war that, how, that, that has already been over. Today, the companies are competing in making marketplaces, mobile applications, progressive web app, and point of sale solution. Now, Bagistio provides uh, so many post common solutions which you can use and make use of Bagistio. Now, here I'm going to explain what are the initial roadblocks as per me while working with Bagistio we faced in the early days. So Mr. Linus Torvalds, the founder of Linux, he says that in open source, we feel strongly that to really do something well, you have to get a lot of people. And that is what one of our biggest challenges is building communities. Because you know, open source is all about community. Until and unless community adopts you, you can't go forward. So it's the community that takes you forward. You can try your back and forth and build so many good applications, but until your community can easily adopt it, you cannot move forward. So community is something, one of our biggest challenges while starting with Begisto. Second is the getting partners, that how we can get partners who can promote Begisto in their ecosystem. Because it's not like we are just targeted in India. We want to get Bagasto at a global level. Now, in order to get at global level, we can't do it alone. We know that we have to get partners. Either they are hosting partners, solution partners, community partners, or payment, payment partners, anyone. So that is also one of our biggest challenges that how we are going to attract partners for a project like Bagasto, which started just two years back. Now, one of the also important factor are the Google SERP ranking. For sure, like if I want to get Bagisto on top, then Laravel e-commerce is something, a keyword which I should target. Or there are some other keywords as well. So this is also one of the challenge that how we are, because until and unless like you get uh, so many people coming onto your site and using Bagisto, you can't get on top of the Google. Now, the thing is about support is that this is also very crucial because support plays a very important role when you are building up your open source project. Because until until unless community feels that there are a group group of people at their back that whenever they get into any issue, they are going to support them. They are not going to try your framework. So support also has played a very crucial role, and that is also something we have uh, faced challenges over a period of time, where we keep changing our strategies and uh, how we are going to provide a very good support for the people who are using Bagasto. So. Now I'm going to explain in some ways that how did we overcame all those challenges. The very first thing is the solid core technology. We know that until and unless uh, our core technology is strong, we can't do anything. That's why we have chosen one of the best open source frameworks of today's time, like Laravel, Vue.js, MySQL, and SaaS. 
For support, we decided that we will open all doors like either it's like a forums or Facebook group. We will create blogs, tutorials or even live chat on Skype and a website. So we open all door for support. So in Bagesto, we have a saying that if you need support, your support is not a ticket away where you get an SLA of 24 to 48 hours. The support is just a ping away. So we try our best to give a support uh, as, as soon as possible. That's why we have opened 24 seven support for Bagesto. So any customer or anyone who is going to use Bagesto support is something which you will, you will definitely get from the Bagesto team anytime. Next and a very important thing that we made is about the partnership agreement. Now this is a very important thing and it's like a very new thing for the partnership. What you have done is that first of all, joining Bagesto as a partner is free. Second, if you build any extension or plugin for Bagesto, we as part of Bagesto will promote it for free. And third and the most crucial one is that we on part of Bagesto will also help you in selling your extensions to our customer. And for that, we will not take any commission for that. So it's like a no fee commission based agreement where you don't pay anything. Instead, you get a lot from the Bagesto team. Now that is what which uh, really uh, which have uh, really suit our partners and they have agreed to join us. And that's why we have like uh, got so many solution partners and community partners with us right now. Next is the backup of a parent company. Now open source projects are really like a neat kind of a backup because uh, if you go forward and uh, attract uh, like approach investor, uh, you will hardly find any success. Okay. So partner, so uh, we are fortunate enough to have a backup of a parent company Webcool where we got uh, so much things to learn regarding experience, guidelines and support. Next is the product product focus rather than marketing. So in Bagesto, all uh, what I have realized that community form their opinions, not how good you are doing a marketing of a product, rather by actually trying and testing your product. So in Bagesto, uh, there's a thing that till now we have we did not have spent any single penny on the marketing activities. But instead of that, Bagesto has been growing organically and profitably. It's all because we are totally focused on the product and improving the processes rather than spending on Google ads or Facebook ads. Now working in a bootstrap way and uh, like uh, getting a backup of current company, we have learned actually how to earn money. Because in a funded company, when you are being funded by an investor, you actually learn, learn how to spend money. That is also a very crucial thing for us that while working with Bagesto, we have actually learned that uh, how we are going to earn money so we can sustain in this ecosystem so people can actually make use of. Because open source is something, uh, there's also one more thing with the people that uh, people can, uh, people actually see that uh, whether this open source project is going to sustain for a long time or not. So because we have got uh, the backup of one of the biggest e-commerce company in India, Webcool, and because we are bootstrap, we have learned a lot. So this gives assurance to our customers that yes, Bagesto is going to stay for a long time in the market. Now, while working in a bootstrap way, uh, we have uh, we have time and time we have like uh, made new monetization strategy. So currently our monetization strategy based fit and simple. It's basically depend upon the support that if anyone need priority support or if they need to hire a Bagasso developer, that is one strategy. Second, if they need any kind of a customization in the existing Bagasso project. And third uh, is that we build, we have built around 70 plus add-ons in Bagel store. So if anyone wants to build a marketplace solution, POS solution, or like a B2B solution, they, there are a number of extensions available for Bagel store. So these are the current three monetization strategy for Bagel store. Now, October coming, October 31st, we are going to complete uh, two years of Bagusto. So these are some of the accomplishments that, that we have for the past two years. We have already reached up to our 3K GitHub store. More than 29K plus downloads are there for Bagusto till now. 1500 plus members have joined our like uh, Facebook and forum community. 
we have got more than 80 plus contributors contributing directly to Bagesto every day. We have grown our user base from zero to 200k from past two years. We have released our very first multi-tenant SaaS e-commerce solution in the market. It's a very unique uh, concept and a very unique plugin that Bagesto is the very first one to launch in the market. It's actually a kind of a plugin where you can actually build your own Shopify or big commerce or crowd-based e-commerce solution. Next is the headless e-commerce progressive web app. Now in Bagesto, we realized that if we look at the uh, underdeveloped countries like Africa or like the far regions of India, where network connections are not so good, it's very poor. So how an e-commerce merchant can reach those areas? Now, Progressive Web App is a very good feature for that. It's a feature that can run even if your like network connection are not coming and it can run often as well. So we realize, we realize that PWA is something which should be a basic feature for any e-commerce. So based upon that, we have made our headless PWA solution as open source. So any e-commerce merchants who are trying to start for their e-commerce website on Bagesto, they also have an added advantage that they can have progressive web app with them. Then we have uh, certainly created a lot of open ambassadors in different, different country. Even we have uh, also started our entity back in Belgium one month back. And we have a group of ambassadors working from different, different country like uh, Colombia, France, uh, Belgium, Cambodia. And we are certainly working with other countries as well where we are appointing ambassadors who are promoting Bagel Store by, by forming community, by organizing events, by taking participation in the podcast and get Bagel Store growing in their ecosystem. Now, Bagel Store is a very first e-commerce solution to launch an image-based product search, which is a use case of machine learning technology using TensorFlow. Now, this is a technology which uh, for which Bagel Store is providing a native support and is also an, and, is, and also comes in the open source version of Bagel Store. So you don't need to actually pay for it. In fact, you can use it as, as part of the open source solution. Now, in the coming future, what you can expect from Bagel Store? So in the coming days, we are going to add so many use cases of machine learning like auto type generators, product recommendation, voice based search using Alexa and Google and virtual try on. And all these features are going to come in the open source Bagesto solution and Bagesto is going to provide our native support for that. Next, sooner we are going to like implement microservice architecture on Bagesto for uh, for the FA for so that in, in future you can make efficient e-commerce application. We are also going to implement GraphQL APIs on Bagesto. And then this is one of our like big thing that we are going to like uh, make Bagesto as a part of a business application platform. So in tomorrow, if you want to make you make use or make make your own CMS platform or ERP solution or CMS solution. You can use Pegasus to model components and build your own platform. Now, very soon, like this e-commerce thing is something which in which there are so many competitors working on. But Pegasus to as a back, as a Pegasus to platform, we are going to pivot to so many enterprise applications like product information management, list asset management, and DXM. Now in the past two years, uh, certainly I have tried a lot and lot and as like it's only two years, it's two years of only for Bagesto, but uh, not so many like of them are interested to cover Bagesto. But uh, uh, because in the past two years, we have done a lot, especially in this COVID situation when the e-commerce business has triggered up across the world, we have literally able to generate revenue from zero to 300K in the past two years. And uh, open source for, for you, one of the most prestigious magazine. Uh, we are really honored to be covered there back in back in this January 2020. Then a few days back, uh, Times of India, again, they have covered our story and like why India needs to focus on starting an open source project as open source seems to be the way to go Atmanindra Bharat. And then we are also featured on Laravel News as well. And recently, 
uh, many like uh, we, uh, press releases have covered by just a story that how we have grown in the past two years and how we have attained 29k plus downloads and the revenue stream of more than 300k in the past two years. These are a few of our testimonials from of our, uh, so many clients who, who have like said something on Bagesto uh, upon their like uh, feedback on when they have started using Bagesto. So over uh, this time, we I have realized that uh, if I like uh, if someone author India comes and know that Bagesto is an open source solution that came up from India, they usually have a like uh, thinking or a mindset that okay it's from India I don't know how it's going to be it's like a very very normal solution it should not be like used there are other solution in the market like uh, which are there in Paris France and like uh, 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 like Shopify is there Magento is there Open Card is there there are so many of them which are, which have originated from like US and Europe these are some of the big ones as some and some which we can rely on but on Indian solution I can't rely if it's like an enterprise solution I don't know whether it will break or not whether it will be a buggy software now this is a myth we actually need to break it and I think with Bagesto we have uh, we have been able to break that myth up to a certain level because right now when there are so many people across the world using Bagesto now they we have been getting feedback that previously the question was that is Bagesto open source the people just asked me that is Bagesto open source or not I tell yes Bagesto is open source you can use it for free but now the question has changed that why Bagesto is open source so I think from is Bagesto open source to why Bagesto open source I think that really defines our journey that how we have built our solution up to a certain level and how we have improvised our technology and process and, be, and for sure our support system that people really feel assured in using Bagesto to develop their next e-commerce framework. At last, before ending this talk, I want to say that uh, the, feeling of, of the feeling of this that there is not, a, not so many open source framework originating from India is one of our biggest motivation factor to actually make Bagesto from India. So in future, uh, we want to uh, we want to say that no, you can you can consider India as an open source nation or a product nation where there are so many open source products blooming up, and you can actually use them for your enterprise level application. So that's all for today. Thank you.